Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. First things first that I wanna tackle is I wanna say I am sorry for the late upload um, that happened yesterday. I actually had everything like back on track and I didn't realize that that video, the long and chatty one got held up in the uploading process and I had no idea and I always check and for whatever reason I didn't check this one. And so that's why it uploaded yesterday and not Wednesday. I'm so sorry about that. Um, I know most of you guys are just amazing and understand that life happens and that I can't always be as consistent as I goal to be and that is just life but um that was actually a computer glitch not a me glitch so I just wanted to throw that out there um the next thing that I want to say is that I am gonna stay with Coco Yo Jaboon Techo I am switching to the biz version I've said that in a couple of videos now it's just because I like the cleaner look especially because I've been more decorative in the planner of late and and I want to stay on that trend, but if I don't want to decorate, I really want just a really nice grayscale. Um, I will do, I think it comes as a kit like this. I think you can just buy the inserts, but I will do the kit concept. So we'll get a whole new set of three um, books. I haven't decided what I'm going to use the basically extra pages for. So we'll see when we get there um, and how that switch is going to take place. Um, when I started this one, I did actually start it in the month I got it, which was November. Was it November? We're going to look because now I am super curious. This is not what this video is about, but we're going to look anyway. Yes, November 1st is when it started. And I think I remember being really excited because I was really sick of the planner I had at the time. This is not the case this year. Um, I am definitely ready for something bright, shiny, and new. I will fully admit to that. So I'll be interested to see how I start using the two in tandem. Um, I am used to that just because I came from a Hobo Nietzsche, um, Techo Cousin background. So you do have like a couple overlaps that happen. So I am kind of used to that, but this is actually like, I think you get a bunch of extras in a couple different places, but we can talk about that in another video. I just wanted to be clear that I am staying with the Koku Yoja Boon Techo. Um, Hobo Nichi tried to reel me in. They do have me on the hook right now though for the Disney collection, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I will have to get some of the Marie stuff. It's just gonna happen, um, but uh, I'll deal with that separately. Um, today's video is not about any of these things. Um, it is about my September plan with me and I am super excited to share that with you and talk about October things. So we're just gonna talk about all the things like we always do. Nothing in my front pocket right now, which is the way I like it because it means I've done everything that I'm supposed to do. Actually, it means that I put the stack of things that I'm supposed to do on the coffee table before I started this video, which is all of about three receipts to scan for my dry cleaners, which by the way, they do not repair everything again not what this video is about. <laughs> so the inside cover is still full of all kinds of nonsensical things. I do need to get some more clear post-its because I'm running low and they're hard to find. No updates in the life book. So we'll just go on past that and we're gonna go directly to the tracker page. So I was super proud of myself this particular month because I started prepping and the first place I went to was the washi tape that I actually carry with me pretty regularly and have a really bad habit of not diving into. Um, so this was just like a strip that was on there and I uh, played with it for quite some time so that it's fine. It's about as centered as it's going to get and I didn't uh, really care that there was a little bit of gap but I got it off my uh, portable little washi board, used it, check. I am playing with the idea of doing a use it up style planning thing. So stay tuned for that. It, it would probably not happen until November. I do tend to be a little bit more centered around using things up in the winter months, it's a time of year where I do contract quite a bit in terms of um, organization and I get 
I get really OCD and finicky um, about not buying more things that are not. <laughs> um, October is a very spend heavy month. So November, December, and January do tend to be a little bit more of me being responsible, minus Christmas shopping, which is another beast in of itself. But we're gonna talk about September's tracker page really quick. So I am gonna be tracking my normal steps, hours, water. I am still tracking calorie deficit. That's been a change. It used to be calories in range. I am really endeavoring to um, stay in a deficit and kind of focus more on that than just staying in range. In range will kind of be reserved more for like October or yeah, mildly October. October, definitely November and December, just making sure I stay in that range because obviously all the holiday things will be happening. Um, I am, I did add a category for each, no sweets and no alcohol. So the first thing I wanna talk about with the no sweets. Um, I put no sweets, not no sugar for a reason. So I have a crumble cookie problem, I really do. Um, I don't sit down and eat the whole thing like a heathen. If you don't know what crumble cookies are, don't look them up. They will suck you in and they are delicious. Um, <laughs> uh, I cut them into fourths. I eat them in a responsible quantity. Um, they last me forever. Um, not only are they a little bit pricey, but they are not a friend to me in this time frame of me just trying to get healthy again and eat a little bit better and stay away from the sugary goodness. No alcohol, same situation. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. There's nothing like that. Like I am, I'm the type of person that I can go extremely long amounts of time without any and then start incorporating it back into like dinners and things like that. And it's easy, especially if Jeff and I are grilling. Um, I know winter months are coming and I am a huge fan um, of winter drinking and all that that entails. Also, I know, and I will reference October more in this video than I swear I will in the October video, I feel like. Um, but I know that first week of October is gonna be full on debauchery um, with the drinking and the sweets and the eating and the things. So I am not, um, I'm kind of preparing for that in a way of, you know, earn it, I guess would be the best way to look at it. So, and again, this doesn't mean that I can't or that I'm trying to go a whole month. I just want to have, I just want an effort behind tracking it. I've talked about this so much this year. Tracker pages are not always don't do this or do this pages. It's a place for you to track when it's happening or not happening. That's what it is. It's to work on that habit. But it's almost like any other thing in your life. You kind of need to research it and figure out where you're starting from. So It'd be like setting a running goal, I guess, would be the best thing to describe it as. Like setting a running goal and realizing you don't really need to or that you need to change it. So for me, if I was hitting 10K steps, which I do a good bit of, if I was doing 100% every single month, then that means to me I need to up that goal. I need to change it to 15, to 12, to 20, whatever you, it's that, it's that movement forward. Um, so tracker pages are that, how I, that is how I view tracker pages. So it's a little bit more expressive and it is a little bit more gray and it's a little bit um, more comfortable. I think that's the word I'm looking for is it's comfortable. You're, you're just meant to track it. This is not meant to shame you. This is not meant to say you don't get a gold star. It is a tracker page. It is not a someone that's going to beat you half to death if you have sweets. Okay. Workouts. I usually track them. I'm gonna to continue to track them. I have not had a very successful month with working out. No, it is not the fatigue. <laughs> it is just me not doing it, if I'm being honest. Um, Project Life is gonna get tracked. Etsy Custom is gonna get tracked. Hobonichi, I have been doing better in my Hobonichi. Um, tracking, I really didn't wanna do that or the tidy, but I couldn't think of other categories and I was just trying to wrap it up and get started for the month. So there's that. 
Um, I'm really excited to do October. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> um, so we are going to go ahead and flip to the next section, which is my monthly spread. So my monthly spread tracks my YouTube plan. So this is where I typically do the video planning. I'm very excited to do the August flip through so I can show you how I'm choosing to track it now. So I'm just gonna say it, whatever. It'll be in both videos and it's fine. So <laughs> I've been coloring in um, the little play button every time I finish that video that I had in mind. It doesn't necessarily mean that it was uploaded to that day. It just means I did actually do that. So when I'm looking back, I'm like, okay, what was actually done? Like, what have I actually filmed and uploaded? What still needs to be done so that I can move these to the next month? That's where that comes in. So whenever I finish filming and posting this video, I can color in that little play button. I hope that makes sense. If you have questions, always feel free to ask whether it's about the play button thing or anything else. Um, so it's a very clean look. As you can see, I did kind of try to replicate a lot of the banners. I did not opt to do the Coffee Monster Co. for this month. I am doing it for October. I bought so much October stuff from Coffee Monster Co. It is nauseating, but very exciting. Um, <laughs> so that is really exciting, but I just kind of replicated that. I hate that it doesn't show up really good on camera, but this is like a navy blue, not a black for each word. Another thing that I do mention in almost every video is that trial and error is super crucial. Um, and I feel like there's not enough talk about that in the planner community that you're going to make mistakes. You're not always going to have perfect spreads. You're going to learn things every single month. I E I, it took me forever to realize that I could just draw these and I would like them so much more than any other, um, like just writing it in that that would, that is the style I like. It took me nine months to figure that out in this planner. And honestly, if, if I really think about it, years, because I did Hobonichi the same way. Um, so it just took me a really long time. I do like the headers because they're cute. What I don't like is that I have, I can't just stream of conscious make a list. I don't know if this will stick around or how this will change, but kind of the normal things are there, working out five times a week, losing that dreaded five pounds. Um, I do wanna do a full clean on the apartment because I'm actually going to have, I should have a good bit of time. Um, my boyfriend, Jeff, he hunts and we are coming up on hunting season. And this is the first year that we've been together. Now I take that back. Uh, no, no, no. This is the first year we've been together that I've been very consistent with the channel. I've always done uploads here and there kind of sporadically, but I've never really had much of a schedule. Um, and now I'm, I'm trying to stick to it. So I'll be able to film quite a bit and clean quite, clean quite a bit while things are uploading or phones are charging, things like that. So I do want to do a full clean. He is going to be kind enough to house sit for me the first week of October while I'm on vacation. So I obviously want to make sure everything is nice and clean and tidy. And I am a fall, I flourish in the fall and in the spring, um, despite my allergies. <laughs> I am just very successful in those months. I do tend to be more dormant in the summer and in the winter. Um, I love those times for quiet. I love them for reflection. I love them for sulking and <laughs> cuddling in my blankets and watching all the things and just resting. It's a lot of resting because it's either too hot or it's too cold to do anything else. And it's not pretty. Nothing's blooming. Nothing's changing colors. I'm not interested except for Christmas. Very interested in Christmas. Not the point. We'll talk about that at Christmas. <laughs> um, so just to say, not doing Coffee Monster Co. layout, I will be doing it in October. Um, I haven't 100% de decided what I'm gonna do with the November 
side of things. And I, this is going to sound terrible. Don't hate me. I'm not a big fan of the one that she has for December. Um, but I do, I do really, really like them from time to time. Um, I do like being able to hop in and out of a brand and that I don't necessarily feel this gigantic pull to have every single week focus on one brand because I have so much product and I love all of my product and I love being able to have different moods. This was very inspired by fall colors and the softer fall colors. So I did kind of struggle. I almost wanted to use green, but I felt like that was a little much. Um, so I really like the idea of like the golds and this like the kind of dusty pinks and the burgundies um all colors that are very i'm a co fall color girl those colors suit me on me so i really felt good about this a lot of the videos for you know what i stopped mid thought over here naturally um i do want to purge the cabinets do some craft organization again this is all kind of in line with getting things tidy for jeff to house it not that he doesn't see the clutter every other day um i do want to work on the custom and getting content filmed and prepped through my vacation as soon as humanly possible um, and then filing at work is going to bury me alive um, my focus on finance is more staying on budget and not spending on the cards that I have allocated for Disney so that I can make sure I have a really good time and that I don't mess with the budget for that. Um, other is continuing to work on the project life from last year, which we're, we'll talk about when we discuss videos. Hobonichi, just getting caught up, working through the most gigantic stack of printables, ever to be seen. Um, if you didn't watch a video or I, I, I feel like I said it in a video before I got in on the studio Calico birthday sale where it was like, there was a percentage off 15% off. There we go. It's like, cause it was like their 15th birthday. So I think it was 15% off and all the printables were a dollar. Um, so their printables are normally like $2 to $6 and I bought so many. Like I came in, like I, I set a budget, I think of like 50 bucks. So just do the generalized math of that. $50 worth of dollar printables, which you would think would be 50, but with the discount, it was more than that. So tons and tons and tons of printable kits that I am working on at night when my brain cannot handle anything else. Um, and working on a Christmas list and plan. Back to the printables for one second, then we'll discuss videos. Um, side note, if you are one of those people where you're like, I feel like I should be doing something, printables is a really great thing. And also sitting with, um, I've said this before, like how I prep for Project Life. I will sit there with my pocket pages and just rough build them out. So I'll find the filler cards and get everything organized for like, Sometimes I'll sit there for like a whole movie or two in the evening because in with a glass of wine, which, you know, again, we go back to the no sweets, no, sh no wine. Um, <laughs> but I want to just say that that's a very easy way to feel like you're being productive. If you don't necessarily have time to do a whole spread, you can kind of work on it a little bit of the time. It's kind of like doing a puzzle at night. I feel like that's a good way to look at it. And I'm using my cut down printables as my um, activity when I watch my trash TV, which right now my trash TV is binging empire. I've got one season left to go. So talking about videos really quickly, I've actually started working even into October already and getting an idea. Everything is in pencil for October. We'll see that later as well. Um, but basically it's gonna be a lot of project life, I think. I think it's actually a pretty decent split. So we've got a 12 by 12, the August flip through, um, pocket pages for 13, 14, and 15 planned for the month. There's one 12 by 12 in week 14. And then I've got two plan with me's that'll upload back to back Sundays. So I'll be doing this coming week, 
Um, I figured it was a good week to do it because I'll have Monday to wrap up editing and get it ready. And again, this, this harkens back to having things ahead of time to give me a little bit more room because until I get ahead, I really can't start going back and working on descriptions. Um, I feel guilty. That's why I always tell you guys, if you have a question, ask it. Don't wait on a description. I don't think anybody does anymore. I really think, I love you all, but I don't think any of you actually give a damn if the descriptions are done. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> but pretty sure no one's worried about it. And then I'm going to do a plan with me the 12th through the 18th as well. Um, and then we'll have the October plan with me out a little bit early. I drive out of Atlanta and head towards Orlando on the 1st. Um, so my plan is to have content all the way through that week, even uploaded because I get back the following Wednesday and I'm going to be probably really busy with work and then probably really tired um, after that. And I just don't want to don't want to stress myself out the following weekend. I actually have a work event that Saturday. So October is just always really full. I talk about it every year. It's my favorite month of the year. It's my favorite time of the year. I have a black cat for goodness sake. I love all things Halloween. I am a huge, huge, huge fan. So it's very busy and it's very full. That being said, there will only be one plan with me other than the flip through and the obvious coming months plan with me. Um, I won't have like a real time plan with me week except for once. Um, so I'm kind of doing a little bonus extra this month to um, do that. I think I've only been doing one a month anyway. So that I'm really just setting myself up for a whole thing. <laughs> um, and just to let you know, October videos, the way that I'm pretty much envisioning them is that they're all going to be scrapbooking videos minus three planner videos, which will be the flip through of the previous month, the plan with me for the month ahead, and then the one plan with me week. Everything else will actually be Project Life from 2021. It's going to be tons of photos and spreads from when Taylor and I went last year, and I'm really excited to work on them. I think it's super funny. Um, we talk about it in crafty things all the time, how far behind we are always are. I feel like planners are pretty on the nose, but then if you're a scrapbooker, you're always behind, you're always memory keeping. Um, and I, I mean, I have a 2015 album I work on sometimes. I have the 2021 album where I'm trying to like connect it to start with that 2022 actual week to week to week keeping. Um, so it's going to take some time, obviously, but um, I'm very much looking forward to you guys getting to see all the fun that we had last year. Um, and I'm excited to reflect on it because obviously through some of the filming and the voiceovers, I'll be able to tell you um, in some of the voice, most of the voiceovers, I'll be able to tell you what happened this year. Um, also, I anticipate that I'll be able to show off um, any and all orders that I'm getting regarding planning supplies. Um, and there should also be a Coffee Monster Call haul video somewhere in there. So that's just some things to look forward to even in October. I'm already planning that far in advance because I know it's gonna be crazy and it's coming very fast. So I am trying to use pockets of time like Labor Day to really get my collective shit together and make sure that we stay on track. So, moving on from all the ramble of that. I don't know why my, that's a weird place to have my page thing. So, this is next week in all of its glory. I actually kept things really clean, this spread. Again, I feel like I do this every single month, even with, like, the spreads that I do, I usually just put down some washi. That washi is my inspiration for that spread, it is what I pull from, um, the color palette that I'm gonna work with for that week. This is some James Burke Creative Washi. It is no longer available, which makes me really sad because I didn't know that until I went to his site the other day to double check. Um, but again, it's those soft fall colors. It's those just a little bit bright enough, which I liked. 
This is the is a washi tape from the Magical Forest collection with crepe paper. And I actually have like a stack of sticker books that I'm going to use throughout the month. I just kind of set them aside like this will be really good for this week, obviously. And then like all three of these are really good for this week. This week, I'm going to try to use a little bit from the Alice in Wonderland one I have just with the brighter colors, maybe some from this Dear Lizzie one or even this one from um, Hobby Lobby. So all of those. This will be a really, ugh, I, I love hate this. So I did this way, way, way in advance and I hate that I did it because I don't love how it turned out entirely. And I did manage to like cut through. That's why I love that this washi tape was thicker. This is from Allie Brown Studio. She's fantastic. I think her shop is temporarily closed and I don't know that she does washi anymore. I think she switched gears a little bit with her shop and what she does and what she offers. This, these are from all over the place. This is Crate Paper. That's Happy Planner. Joann's uh, Crate Paper, Maggie Holmes, Joann's, Joann's. So from all over the place, just my stash basically. Um, and again, I was trying to kind of go with like a fall rainbow and I don't know that I love it. This is one of my favorites. I actually get to have two Coffee Monster Co. weeks back to back because I was very adamant that I wanted um, to theme it a little bit. So I did stick to my rainbow relatively. So we're all rainbow here. <laughs> so this is the Magical Forest. This is the new Seasons washi tape and it is actually a little bit bigger. I had to cut a little bit off the top. This is the Affirmations washi. This is the Payday washi or the, it's like the money budget bills. It's like bills and budget, I think, or something, but I do get paid that day. This is the working, which I will be working and I will feel and look like that by the end of that Friday without fail because I am leaving the next day for five days and I will have to have my crap together because I think my boss is out once I get back. So it will be a very, very long Friday <laughs> getting there. I did the, I think it's like a travel, I don't know the name of it. It might be passport something, but there's a part of the washi. I'm going to end up flipping between both pages. There's no way I can't spoiler alert you guys. I want, I want to keep things secret till next month, but it's never going to happen. So part of the washi has like the luggage and then part of it had like the photo and the world. So this is actually my travel day to drive. This is actually the day we're in Epcot. So photos and world. Perfect. Check. Um, this is from Sweet Beans Plant, and it's like the Scary Beans Washi, and that's the day we go to Halloween Horror Nights. If you look, there's a lot of things in pencil, like I even kind of did some doodling in pencil just to start getting it ready, um, but we're still solidifying a couple of things, so I don't want anything in pen quite quite yet that's literally over a month away but I've even put like little notes at the top of kind of what's going on so it's drive Disney Springs Halloween Horror Nights brunch those are like the things of the day um and I kind of did that moving on but we'll talk about that more in October um nothing really to report for um the back half the idea I am gonna do another spending log. I just haven't made it yet. I honestly didn't even think about it until now. Um, but I will be making another one for sure. And, um, it's just separated out into categories. I can show you this. It's not as updated as I would like, but groceries, takeout, crafts, bills, banks, other, and gas. And I will have to adjust this a little bit for September, um, because I did kind of notice, um, some categories that I would like to create just for future reference. And I do need to start incorporating gifts into a category too, just so I keep that separate and don't fuss at myself for spending gift money. Um, 
So nothing really to report from the ideas section. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I actually kept it to a pretty decent time frame today, even with the rambling. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I look forward to planning October with you guys. And another thing that I do want to say is please make sure you turn on your notifications, um, both for Instagram and for um, YouTube, because over Labor Day weekend, I am planning to go live on one, if not both platforms. So keep that in mind as well. Um, that's probably the most warning I've ever given any of you guys um, that that's going to happen. But, and there'll be a lot more of that through the fall, especially with him hunting, because he'll be off doing his thing and I'll be home doing my thing. So um, we won't be together as much over the weekends and that will free up some crappy time with you guys. So keep that in mind and I hope to see you guys on some of the lives. Also be on the lookout. I know I've changed the name here to create uh, creating Wonderland and I'm most likely going to change my handle on Instagram as well just so we're all cohesive. Um, as always, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. I don't want to sound redundant and I don't want to sound fake. I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. The fact that you guys don't come for me like crazy when I'm when I can't be on schedule and that you understand that life happens and that you appreciate my rambles and my rants and my side tangents and everything. It means so, so, so much to me. It keeps me going um, and giving you guys content and keeping me crafty. So thank you for keeping me crafty um, and creating this lovely wonderland with me. Thank you guys. Mwah. Until next time.